nyiti mwambaye hamwamini miujiza dawa yenu hii hapa leo kanisa nzuri ni gani ikiwa watu wanapona new life na wanakopolewa new life ni ya illuminati ama ni ya madevil ni ya mapepo ile nzuri ni gani ni ile mahali watu wanakufa wanaugua wanazikwa na pasta wanawekewa wanawekwa kwenye high table wa kule hiyo ndio mnataka atamkikata hii miujiza wenyewe wataikujia watapona tu mimi siwezi nikakosa kuombea watu wapone mimi nimeitiwa hiyo yule ambaye anataka kuombewa akienda kuzikwa atoke new life mimi nitakuombea uishi wewe kama unataka waupendi miujiza usije toka mimi hiyo ndio niko nayo na peano narudisha ndoa za watu kwa maombi mgonjwa apone yule ambaye anafitika akombolewe yule ambaye alikataliwa pate kibali asiye na kazi apate kazi if that is prosperity gospel i'll preach it number one. nani alisema wa kristo wasihubiri prosperity gospel wahubiri poverty gospel wewe toka hapa na ubiri toka toka hapa nenda kule si uende kule nikitaji microphone nitakuita nani alisema wachungaji kazi yao ni kuzika hii njili nitoka wapi i have a very big problem with my generation njili hii nitoka wapi nani aliambia wachungaji kwamba pasta aliye na neema ya kuponya watu ni devil hiyo biblia iko wapi na ile imeandikwa mungu mwenye nguvu tele nguvu sote mbingu na inchi ni yake huyo mungu alienda safari wapi mungu wangu hajaenda safari is on duty yani kanisa linakuwa breakfast kabisa mpaka wengine wanaamini eh eh ni devil devil ah. unajua devil worship na devil worship ni mtu anayeamini shetani yako na nguvu kumliko Mungu huyo mtu anaamini shetani kuliko nani sasa ma devil worship wako hapo wameingia makanisani wanavunja watu moyo yani my generation iko na shida mimi niliwauliza ukiuliza pasi sikira anatoa pesa wapi anafanya hizi vitu si sahihi kwa maelfu ya watu si mnatoa sadaka si ni mimi na mke wangu tunazipeleka sinaishi na watoto watatu sasa hii sadaka yenu yote nakipeleka si tuitumie kwa ajili ya injili kuna makosa na mimi nitaiweka wapi si nitaiweka kwa account hata ikionekana hapo kwa account ndio serikali ijue kama ni kweli washirika wanamtolea mu kuna makosa hapo unataka pastors wa kora ambao wanatoa na hamuoni pesa ziko wapi nasema toa sadaka toa taith bwana asema wanadamu wakapenda giza kuliko nuru toto utasoma mama mama wamekata shule wote mimi nikienda shule mpaka hata ndaanza kukata shule mimi nikienda shule sasa nikienda shule ninaenda tu lazima shida zinifuate lazima zijue wana niambe mimi nararuma karatasi ya watoto watu na mimi nauliza wewe unaefukuza mtoto wa mwingine wako akiwa na tatizo maana tatizo huwa halibishi Amen. Tatizo ni kama kifo haiandii mtu nakuja. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Wanaoikataa miujiza wasikushtue hata kamwe na wala usiwe na wasiwasi nao. So please, when you see people that don't believe in miracles, please be grateful to God that you believe in one. Yaani watu wengi sana hawaamini miujiza mpaka pale wako desperately in need. Lakini jambo moja, if you can believe in God then you should believe in miracles wacheni niwaambie at the point when you get down to the basis and talk with the individuals who for sure they don't believe in supernatural occurrences you will see ama utaelewa kwamba mambo yao wamejiundia wenyewe based on pure ignorance 
Yani concept yao kwa miujiza is what has prevented their understanding. Wengi watakwambia kama Mungu yupo, mbona kaka yangu akakufa na kanza? Tuliomba na hatukufanikiwa. Yani tulifanya chochote kadri ya uwezo wetu, mimi wacha ni kuambie siamini hii miujiza. Hii mimi nakubaliana tu ni bahati. Hivyo ndo watasema. Hakuna mtu atakasema ni miujiza yani ni Mungu amefanya vile. Hakuna kuna wengi ambao wanaokataa miujiza na hivi ndio wanavyoamini. Wengine pia wataenda umbali wa kuamini all miracles are staged. Yani they are forged no matter how convincing the scenario is. Yani hata muonyeshe kweli ndio huyu kipofu amepona. Kuna wengi yani mpaka they can't believe. Watasema aha hii ni kitu hii ni muigizo tu mnaigiza kama vile mchungaji anaambia wengi wanamwambia huku ah we hiyo unafanya ni kuigiza tu tupate hii straight Mungu hufanya miujiza kila siku katika maisha ya watu hmm? tena ni watu wanao muamini wale ambao utupa imani yao desperately in need of his hands get his miraculous touch But most people ignore the principles expecting God to heal them no matter what. And when they don't get healed, they point their accusing fingers at God or ministers of the gospel. However, God is never to be blamed for anyone who didn't get healed, delivered or restored. So if you are in that line, check your unbelief. So, my fellow friends who don't believe in miracles, please take this to the bank. What you do and what you don't do doesn't move God. Lakini what moves him is the obedience of his word. That will definitely move God. So, badala ya kuwa full stack unbeliever with a wrong emotional opinion, Please be humble enough to admit Mungu hawezi kuwa makosa. If kuna yeyote mwenye makosa basi ni binadamu. Kwa hivyo kwa taarifa yako Mungu bado yuaponya, anafanya miujiza tena kupitia mikono ya waliopakwa mafuta. So ukae ukijua we can only stop the move of God in our lives through unbelief. Last ni kiondoka. Please and please Don't be an agent against God. Believe in miracles and also God. Kwa heri ya kuonana ni mimi Mama Radi.